again and as promised that I was going to come back with another video and so I am and today is going to be the easiest DIY that you've ever seen me do. Um, today it is a Dollar Tree DIY. Yes, this DIY is only four bucks. Four bucks. So that means I have four baskets and we're going to work with these. So, also, I've already had this, so this didn't cost me anything extra. I always, when I go on a Dollar Tree, just pick up an extra strong adhesive glue from them. I have these also, these little gold rings. You can probably use grommets. Excuse me, hiccups. You can probably use grommets, or you can also use shower uh, rods or curtain rods the round curtain rods so this is what i had on hand so this is a freebie so something that i had from an old chandelier so we're going to make use of this today and we're going to be gluing this together and i'm also using my hot glue gun and i just have three glue sticks left this diy is so simple you guys so fast i don't even know why i'm filming it really i'm embarrassed so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take all the chains off of the wire baskets. We're going to take all the chains off. And we're going to leave hooks on one of them. And we're going to discard the wire baskets, save them for something else. We're going to remove the tags. And then you'll have a basket that looks like this with the little hooks dangling on the side. So you're gonna have three hooks dangling and then on the other one, you're gonna have no hooks. Keep these, because these are coming to handy for another DIY in the future. So you definitely want to keep those. So you're gonna have one with hooks, with the little hooks and one without. So we're gonna put those together because they're gonna make two, they're gonna be Add it together and fuse together however you want to call it and these are planter baskets that usually hang like this um, from your ceiling or porch or whatever you put your flower pot inside and they're really really thin I don't know how a plant will really manage just a heavy but for the record this is going to be the perfect project for this project that I'm working on and so as I take these off I'll tell you, I'm excited about this project. So what we're doing is we're making lanterns that are going to be about this close together for my um, sconces downstairs. And to make it look more professional, because I'm not going to add anything. I'm not going to bling these out. I want it to look, not farmhouse, but I want it to look more like just iron lanterns. And I, I saw some ideas at Ikea and online, but when I got the product home, they were too long and they hang in your face. So we want to kind of keep it up high and out of the eyesight so that the cedar in front of the bar can be comfortable. These lights will definitely be going into my bar and it's only two and it's gonna take two baskets for each light. So that's why I have four. Okay, I know I showed you eight fingers, but I only have four. All right, so for each basket, we're gonna use three of these rings or three grommets or whatever. And these rings are a tad bit smaller than this base. So we're gonna definitely have to glue good in them together. And the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna glue two together opposite sides. Instead of um, like this, the round side together, I'm gonna glue mine opposite sides of the other. So I think that'll look more professional and more um, existing. So I'm going to open my glue from Dollar Tree that I already had. And I hope, yeah, this do have a puncher. And we're going to open that. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue around the edge. 
This glue is really good glue. It's just as equal to me as E6000, but it dries faster. And it's not as runny. And it dries clear. So, but while I'm doing this glue, I'm going to also put a little bit of hot glue in here in certain spots just to uh, make sure that's pumping just to um, make sure they stick together so we're going to take these two and we're going to balance them out and hold them in place because we want to make sure that these two stick together and that they dry together so we're going to do the same, we're going to do this twice, we're going to make sure that they are together tightly. So we're going to set that to the side and we're going to do two more just like that. So again, I'm going to put this glue first. And you don't need a lot of this glue. This glue is very strong. It smells like nail polish. you want to wipe any excess glue from the glue. You want to make sure there's nothing dripping or hanging in the inside. You want to get all that off. You want to make sure that it has a nice clean image. Oh, it's sticking to my finger. <laughs> it's sticking to my finger. But um, So we're going to set that aside also. The last one is going to be put on the inside of the basket. So we're going to glue this one instead. See how it shapes like a little bowl. So we're just going to glue it going up in the basket. So instead it's going to be this way in the basket. And it definitely is a bit small. So we're going to put the glue dot on each side this way. And I'm using Edison buzz, so these buzz are not that hot, so they'll definitely hold this into place. Just want to get any excess glue off. And just let that dry and then we're going to go in with the regular glue. So at this point, it's looking like this in the inside. And I know because of what I'm wearing, it's hard to see. But if you, let me move it. If you can see on that side, you got your, your goal. So it's starting to look professional already with the center top. And so now that I have it back upside down, I'm just going to go in and reassure it with this glue because we want to make sure that this is permanent because I think I'm going to like this for a long time. So I definitely don't want something that I'm going to have to replace constantly or that's just not going to work out for me. This is going to be the top. And now that we got that squared away and we still have this glue, this glue is gonna serve a purpose because it is still wet. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, more glue on the dots at the top really quickly because we want to um, 
we want to adhere. Oh, we don't want to push it down. We want to adhere the other piece to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this piece on top of that piece and then press down. So they should be holding each other into place and it should look just like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the top one more time with this glue because I want to make sure that this piece stays. So while that's trying to drip everywhere, I'm gonna put it right there. This is what it looks like painted black. I am so thrilled because all I had to do was just paint the top part black and I sprayed it. I didn't think you guys needed to see that. But you can see this looks like a perfect pumpkin. It's making me want to go back and buy more of these baskets so that when the fall come this year, I can make pumpkins out of the baskets. I'm just saying, food for thought. So, but I absolutely love how this is looking. I really do. I am digging it to the max. And so this is the bub before I put the new bubs on it. Hey guys, I told you it would be a different day. I'm actually at my bar and I'm actually really at standing height. It does come to my breast from floor to boob. So this is a pretty good size bar. Um, I wanted to really get into this step-by-step um, -step process that we had started the day before, which was yesterday. And um, I wanted to say, you know, as I was thinking about this project, you can also make a really cool chandelier out of this if you have some consoles and if you are the type of girl that likes bling bling because you can also like turn the same project Ups, upside down and then start hanging your um, crystals here and all throughout. My aesthetics in this house is not crystal, it's not glam, it's a little bit of contemporary, modern, and mid-century. So I have all that and a hint, a hint of um, antique. Um, so I'm learning who I am as I go along and I'm the type of person I'm lazy so I want to have a home that's always put together all the time no matter what the season is or what the occasion is or what the fad is so I try to buy things that I know it's gonna last forever and I try to make things that are going to last forever now it's when it comes to this I don't know if it's gonna last forever I don't know if I'm going to replace it anytime soon, but for right now, I am going to love this. And I think I did a great job. So with that being said, what we're going to do here is you see these little tabs right there, these little pieces right here. Each one, we're going to do two up front and then we're going to connect it to the light up above. And you'll get to see the light above. And we're going to connect them just like that. So do you see how that connected the bottom basket? You see? So these are little like connector hooks. And so we have another one over here. We have three. It's three on each um, basket. So we're just going to connect this one too. It's kind of like a farmhouse theme. And these baskets will have some gapping in between. As you can already see, they're going to be like, they're going to look like this on a light bulb. Like a big ass pumpkin. <laughs> in fact, I'm looking like one now. We'll get up to this. Okay, so this is my bub 
that I love. Heaven forbid if I drop it right now, I will probably fall into tears. This bub at Home Depot will cost you about $29. And I think the same price at Ikea. Maybe $19.99 at Ikea. And it's a darker color at Ikea. So it's more black at Ikea. So what I did was I attached the two wires here. One on each side, one here and one here. And now I'm going to put the bulb through this part. Put the bulb through this part and we're going to connect it to the base, which is right here. And so it's going to look like a little set, don't you think, when we put it together? Okay, so I'm hoping that this works and that it looks amazing and not cheesy. But like I said, this is the cheesiest DIY I've ever done and the cheapest that I've ever done. So let's get started. So I'm gonna take my bub, I'm gonna stick my bub in the hole, and I'm gonna now screw this bub into the outlet until it's tightened. Once I got it tightened, whoo, 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 look at that! I don't have to, that look amazing halfway, don't it? No. So we have one little dangly thing hanging. So we're gonna just connect it to the last loop. And voila, we have a light fixture. Now, if I was to push this all the way up, as you can see, it touches the bulb. So this is the perfect width with this little latch. And this is the best way to take this loose. Sorry that you can't see me entirely. I'm gonna do something about that. <laughs> So I'm back up here again, and we're gonna unscrew this bulb. And I'm gonna just finger wipe it off. But see how big this bulb is? Like, look at my head, and look at the bulb. Who got the big head? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> um, so, we got the bulb. Make sure that don't go anywhere. Again, these bugs are $29 a piece. So I have my Pac-Man spot. So what we're going to do again is take the bub, put it through the hole that we created. The hole is already there. You really don't need this piece if you want the bub to sit on it. Especially if you have a small light bulb, you definitely will need this piece. But I didn't, in my case, need this piece. But I wanted it there for a, a more crisp look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm turning my bulb into the socket. And now I'm going to bring my last paper clip clamp to the top. And fasten it in. And now we have two beautiful sconces. And they're rustic, they're farmhousey, they're modern, they're chic. 